Today we're making my easy Nilla Wafer Banana Pudding. In a small mixing bowl, place crushed vanilla wafers and melted butter and stir until combined. Next, spray an 8x8 glass baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. Pour the crushed vanilla wafers and butter mixture into the pan. Use a fork and press the crumb mixture evenly into the pan, making sure you get it in all of the corners. Next, add one block of softened cream cheese, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract into a large mixing bowl. Use an electric hand mixer and mix together until creamy and smooth. In a separate bowl, make the homemade whipped cream by combining heavy whipping cream, two to three tablespoons of powdered sugar, and vanilla extract. Whip together on medium-high speed until stiff peaks form. It usually takes about one to two minutes. If you prefer, you can also use Cool Whip for this recipe, but I love using homemade whipped cream because it's super easy to make and super yummy. Next, mix together the whipped cream and cream cheese mixture until well combined. In another mixing bowl, combine vanilla instant pudding powder and cold milk. Use an electric hand mixer and whisk together until well combined and the pudding has thickened. Next, slice bananas into about a quarter of an inch thick slices. Spread a little less than half of the cream cheese and whipped cream mixture evenly over the vanilla wafer crust and use a knife or spoon to spread gently outwards into all of the corners. Next, arrange a layer of vanilla wafers on top. Then top with sliced bananas. Next, carefully spread the vanilla pudding into a layer on top of the bananas, ensuring all the bananas are completely covered to prevent browning. Top the vanilla pudding layer with the remaining cream cheese and whipped cream mixture and gently spread it evenly over the pudding layer. Lastly, top with vanilla wafers and place in the refrigerator to chill for a minimum of four hours. Hope you enjoy!